Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, and you're looking at Mauna Loa erupting for the first time in over 36 years. Around six hours ago, the volcano sent up a plume of ash to 17,000 feet, and the lava began, began spilling into the caldera. Here we are at the live stream, 5, 10, 10 a.m. Hilo time, and... There is lots of lava coming to the surface. Now, the good news is none of this has breached the caldera. None of this is a fissure eruption as of yet. So there is very little threat to populations. But a major seismic swarm is ongoing at the summit caldera, which means that there can be anything possible and any of these fissures may open. And we'll get to that at the end of the video, the historical flows, the time they get to populated regions. But Mauna Loa erupted around 11.30 p.m. Uh, local time, and sent that plume right over Hilo. So there could be some ash falling in Hilo this morning or have already accumulated due to the initial blast from the volcano. So there is some interesting factoids. Now let's go over all the details we know in the last several hours. A new eruption started at Mauna Loa Volcano in the evening of the 27th at 11.30 p.m. local time. That's just about six hours ago, my time. Uh, the new lava effusion began to ooze out within Moku, Aweoweo Summit Caldera. And there you can see thermal cameras uh, at the very beginning of the effusive eruption. That's what it looked like. And now, well, it looks a lot larger. <laughs> so the new lava effusion began to ooze out of Moku, Aweoweo Summit Caldera. Now, from available webcams and thermal images, it seems to open a new chain of vents producing small lava fountains, or so-called curtains of fire, which have now, it appears to have reduced. We will get a, a more detailed view of the live stream in just a minute. Um, so these lava curtains in the beginning were spreading a field of lava, slowly covering the crater floor. The floor is now covered. Therefore, there was a decision had been made by authorities and the HVO to rise the volcano alert to red. And in fact, the Hawaii Volcano Observat Observatory status report shows the alert warning color is red, which means it is erupting. The eruption continues at the summit of Mauna Loa. All vents remain restricted to the summit area. However, lava flows in the summit region are visible from Kona. There is currently no indication of any migration of the eruption into a rift zone, but it's only the first six hours of this eruption. The last eruption in 1984 lasted for 20 days, and we'll get to that data. Now, the volcano alert level and aviation color code for Mauna Loa remains at warning red, and HVO is continuing to monitor conditions carefully and will issue additional notices as needed. Any residents with questions about emergency response can click on these two links. So all the links will be below, and you will be looking for the Hawaiian Observatory issues updates and the link near there. So here we are at the live stream. Uh, which is going on at Doing Hawaii. So why don't you like and subscribe there? Tell them the Oppenheimer Ranch project sent you over there because he's going to wonder why all these people are rushing over there. He has a, had over 10,000 subscribers since the eruption began. So he's got really good webcam here, and he is shifting off on all the screens so you can get all the views, like the glow from Kona, which we're going to see here in just a second. There it is. So even if you're far away, you can see something is afoot <laughs> on the mountain. And in fact, it's because it's erupting. Now look at all of the lava that has spilled out on the caldera floor in just six hours. So this is not a small event. It has just begun. And we have another live stream. There's another group, Apu Hawaii Tours, which is trying to head to the lava. So if you want to keep up on that, I'll leave you links to them. But the best channel so far, Doing Hawaii at the live stream. Now, Mauna Loa, let's take a look at the eruptive history. The last eruption was in 1984. It lasted from March 25th to April 15th. So that's about 20 days. It had it confirmed eruption at VEI zero. It erupted about a decade prior to that for just a single day. And in 1950, it erupted for 23 days. And in 1949, it erupted for 24 days. So 20, 20 days, one day. It looks like 20 days is the average. So anywhere between 1 and 20 days, we should be seeing this eruption. 
And historically, the eruptions have taken all shapes and sizes, and they have been all over the map. Take a look at this. They've flown they have flowed out in every direction. 1881, a lava flow made it almost all the way to Hilo. 1855, 1935, 1984, the lava flow made it close to Hilo. See it there? Uh, 1942, 1852, eight, I mean, you can see the lava has the chance. 1859, it made it all the way up here. And so... Anything is possible. And the good news is that the lava moves slow. So in order to reach Hilo, lava flows from this region can reach the populated areas. It takes weeks to months to get there. So nothing immediate will happen in Hilo. And other areas could be much faster. North Kona, lava flows from this region can reach populated areas in just days to weeks. So if there's a breach to the south, to the northwest, that could mean rapid lava flow towards the ocean. And South Kona, lava flows from this region of Mauna Loa can reach populated areas in just hours as well. So we're going to keep a close eye on this because the majority of activity coming here is a flurry of activity. Here's the caldera, the main caldera, was happening to, towards the southwest here. But it appears as if this region could fissure out due to the seismicity happening now. So here's the caldera that's filling with lava but we have a large seismic signature to the south of that caldera. Another one that's continuing here with more recent activity to the north. And if any of these open up, well, you can see where past lava flows have gone. It's quite obvious to the eye. Any of these cracks would flow out this way. On this, closer to this ridge, could flow out towards Hilo. You can see some of those old lava flows and how far they made it. There's the 1855 flow that probably came down here and turned a little and made its way towards Hilo. So we have an ongoing event. Mauna Loa is erupting. First time it's erupted in over 36 years. You can see some of those more amazing splatters in the middle. This is a updated, it appears to be still cameras that are being updated every few minutes. This is definitely not a live shot. We've also got our favorite channel up here, Two Pineapples. Give them a thumbs up and subscribe. They've been covering the live Mauna Loa eruption and Kilauea eruption for quite some time. So here we can see they probably have got... This is Mauna Loa erupting live from Kilauea. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> and they've got two channels up here. They've got that still shot one. So there's lots of... Uh, YouTube channels up there where you can grab all the information you need and hang out and live chat with like-minded people while Mauna Loa is erupting. So all the resources will be below as uh, Apu Hawaii Tours and many others. Look at all these people trying to make it towards that eruption so that they can get some views apparently or sell the footage, whatever you like. But we do have a new eruption, first eruption in 36 years on the Big Island of Hawaii. The initial plume there you can see went over. Um, it appears as if it went over Hilo. So a lot of people are right well there. aware of this eruption because of the ash on their car this morning. The ongoing seismic swarm is continuing, and it is not. It is picking up speed, steam, if anything. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over a dozen in just the last hour, a dozen earthquakes in just the last hour, hours of powers as this volcano has roared to life once again. The last eruption was VEI zero, lasted for 20 days. We expect a similar eruption here between one and 20 days and potentially a fissure to open up. But anything's possible, follow the channel for updates on the Mauna Loa eruption, which is now ongoing. And all the links to everything we talked about will be below. Hope you got something out of the video. Mauna Loa is erupting for the first time in 36 years, and that was a predicted boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And stay tuned for updates. We love you.